Hello there, I'm Janko with my Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we made it through Route 223, um, the water route, before Victory Road with this little waterfall you see there. Uh, now we're gonna go on to Victory Road. I, as you saw at the end of the last part, I did, uh, you saw, uh, Drago evolved into a Garchomp, and everyone's level 48, so that's pretty cool, except for Beck. Even, even Rose is level 48, but she's in the PC right now, because I need Beck, because you need, like, you'll need Strength, Rock Smash, uh, Surf, and rock climb and then water waterfall is optional you don't need waterfall it's just for you know it's just for if you want to explore all of victory road you need waterfall then but to get through it you don't need waterfall so let me put a repel on to start off uh, i'm in my missing pocket okay yeah let's just put a repel on so yeah Hopefully, with the everyone being level 48, it'll repel. It'll obviously repel level 47 Pokemon and below. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully, I won't get so many wild encounters like I did the first time I tried to record this because uh, that's why I chose to do um, an extra training session in between uh, off screen or in between videos. Yeah, be one more till I can see the future. This is a, that's a psychic trainer. Let's take it. All. Let's take him on. Okay, we defeated um, Psychic Bryce there. Here's an item, which is a Team 41 Torment. I don't really recommend it, especially at this point of the game. I just don't recommend. I just don't recommend this TM, you know. And over here should be another item, I think. Or maybe just a dead end on both ends, right? Oh man, there's my <laughs> my antivirus software just popped up. I had to close it. Hopefully that didn't mess with the recording, I don't think it did. So, that's good at least. Let's rock climb again, and we can go over here, down here, and over to the uh, ace trainer right here, that's pretty cool. Okay, I keep battling so I can soar even higher into the skies. Okay, let's continue on. Here's that item right here. It's a full heal. If we just rock climb down here, let's put another pole on there first. I think we can access another area. I think that t I think that item ball on the right side of your screen right there. Uh, now on your top right side of your screen. I think that's the TM for Dark Pulse, which I want to teach to um. Karen eventually if we can get that. Uh, I think I remember how to get to that item. Right here is just, yeah, don't want to hop over that ledge. You're going to have to we'll do a lot of this. Don't want to hop over that ledge either, this one. No, that'd be bad. Let's go up here then. And here's another Ace Trainer. Um, I still have uh, Drago, Drago up front, but I don't know if it's the best choice to have Drago up front. Show me how you battle to get here. Let's do this. The thing with that Blessing in that last battle was it has like the most HP of any Pokemon in this game, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so therefore, all that we had to slowly watch its HP uh, lower as, uh, you know, Inferno used um, uh, close combat. So here's an area where we get to use Rock Smash and Strength. So, I forget which path leads where, but I'm just going to start with this path. Um, most of this is going to be trial and error if, I, if it comes to that, so I don't mind. I think I have to move this back a little bit. Hop on my bicycle. Uh, so I'm not in the right gear. Uh, 
How am I not? How is this not working? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. I don't think this is required to even, you know, try to beat. There we go. A pill off though. Let's put another pill on. I think that's a TM up there. Might be important, so I'm gonna try to pick it up. There we go. A max ether, okay. That's cool, I guess. Oh man, wait, I think I can go down from the bottom. Yeah, I know I can't. I have to jump this. I have to jump this. There we go, that works. And let's rock smash this boulder, I guess. I'm gonna get off my bicycle just in case I don't actually jump over the ledge by accident. So yeah. Okay, a couple strength puzzles, okay. Yeah, okay, we can already move boulders around, okay. I didn't know that. I had to double check, I'm sorry, game. Let's take on this uh, East Trainer right here. You, one look at you tells me you're a real contender. Okay, Drago Girl level 4 at 9 in that last battle. So I'm gonna switch it with Inferno. Okay, nothing over there. Okay, that's just a ledge. Um, how do I wanna do this? I think I know what to do. Okay, I can still move both around. Okay, I wanna push that one in. That way you can use Rock Smash right here. Yeah, it just takes a while, you know, because I don't know why the... This is just sometimes slow. Push that like that, and then you can use Rock Smash right here. I figured out that puzzle, yay. And here's another Ace Trainer. Let's take her on. It looks like a her, a female. This, to this, the, this total stranger will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. In that last battle, uh, Inferno good level 49, so that's really cool. Um, also, in the last last battle with the Carnivine, that's actually really good for your Pokedex to, see, to battle that trainer so you see that Carnivine. Because, uh, you know, if you, don't, if, if you haven't seen a Carnivine in the Great Marsh in Pastoria City, then there's also your second chance to try to get one to see it for your Pokedex. Along with the, the trainer we just battled, she had a Torterra, which I was so afraid she was going to use Earthquake on, but she used Weed Seed instead. And uh, Inferno was able to evade that attack. And then also that Clefable too is also another Pokemon you probably want to see in your Pokedex to help fill the pages up on your Pokedex. Okay, so I guess I well, I'll take that. Well, we can also reset the puzzle too, so um, that's good. We'll take. A, I think this is a veteran trainer. Let me make. Let me take a measure on of how much you raised your Pokemon. Raised your Pokemon. That veteran was... 
That Hapaldon gave me more trouble than... Well, I was expecting trouble from Hapaldon. I mean, those things are crazy good. Um, let's put another Pell on. I think we have to... Yeah, let's just strength it right here. Because that's what we want to do. Just push it right in the... With, where it's, um... Almost touching the other two boulders, basically. There we go. So, up here is another puzzle. Okay. Gosh dang it. I don't like use, I don't like accidentally wasting my puzzles by stepping into walls and not being able to turn on them, you know? Okay, just push this one here. Smash this rock with rock smash. We'll do that with pleasure. And then move this boulder down. There we go. That works. And another bike thing with these slopes. Okay. Let me start with this then. Let's hope I'm going fast enough on the first gear. Looks like I am. Cool. There's a four store very worth picking up. Yeah. Let me get off my bicycle. Dang it. <laughs> Let me get off my bicycle again. There you go. We got this. It's just to go around. Um let's see here. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna use a super potion on uh bronze. And I guess Karen and Bronze will fight together in this double battle coming up. That's a double battle, cool. L I L says, I intend to perfect uh, I tend to perfect my dude, my double power tech double battle technique. Uh the, this that will make me better all around. I uh K says, I want to improve my doubles technique as much as I can. That is that will improve me as a trainer. That double battle wasn't that hard, so that's good at least. Hmm, okay, so I have to go really fast at first, but then stop at the end, basically. Like that. Yeah, like that. Cool, I nailed it, I nailed it on the first try. Here is TM71 Stone Edge, which is a really good rock-type move. Um, I wonder if anyone with Pokemon can learn it. I don't think I'll teach it to anyone, but I'm just curious to see if anyone can learn it. I might consider it if that's a thing. Tournament, no. Um, what was... Stone Edge. Right here, 71. I thought it was TM41 for a second, but it wasn't. Um, Inferno can learn it. Uh, Draco can learn it. Uh, Drago can learn it. Um, yeah, I'll just skip out on it. Yeah, its power is 100, its accuracy is 85, or 80. It's, and the accuracy is 5, PP is 5, which, so it's a pretty decent move. It only, I mean, 80 accuracy is still good. So, you might want to consider it for your... If you have like a rock type like a Heracross. If you have a Heracross, I definitely like the Stone Edge. Teaching it Stone Edge, because it's a really good move to teach it. At least in my experiences. Uh, not my experiences. I've never really raised a Heracross in this game. But I've heard like so many people like it so much that their Heracross can learn Stone Edge and they teach it to them. So yeah. So let's um go back up here. I think this is the right way to go. Let me get off my bicycle. <laughs> Okay, so over here, I'm gonna, I guess, go downwards with the rock climb. Here's a, here's a black belt dude, let's take him on. My Pokemon knows, my Pokemon knows karate. My Pokemon knows karate. You say, okay, you're saying like one Pokemon you have knows karate? I'm waiting, I'm warning you, it's a tough one. I think it's a Machamp or something. I'm good. I, I called it. It was a Machamp, and I could, it was a Machamp when he sent it out. That's awesome. So, um, yeah. Let's put a... Let's give it a hyper potion, why not? And Bronze almost good level 49 too. Let's go down here. Because that's where we need to go, I believe. Yeah, okay. Cool. We can go down the steps again and go down these steps. 
Now there's a split path. Um, I'm gonna go this way around to the left because you just happened to warp in right back around. And I might as well just get that out of the way first. So I'm gonna do, go to the left path. What the heck? Okay, I guess there's not a split path. You have to go here. Here's a psychic dude. Let's follow this psychic dude. I can see the past. Okay, and that last battle bronze good level 49, so that's pretty cool. Let's send uh, Karen up to the front, actually. Not Jetta, but Karen. Let's go up and surf up here, I guess. And I think we loop around from there. So I'm pretty sure I'm right. See, this is the way you need waterfall. If you want to explore some more of the dude. Let me put another pill on. Okay, yeah, super pill right there. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, we would love to scale the waterfall. Okay. It's as easy as that. Now you can go down this waterfall, I think, to get the item that they were showing off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here's the item. It's um, TM59 Dragon Pulse. And yes, I'm going to be teaching this to, Drag to Drago right here, right now. Okay, um... Dragon Pulse is right here. Nice. Okay. Let's give it to Drago. Nice. It's about the one Dragon Pulse by TM. Should we should be forgotten. Yes. Okay. What move should we be forgotten? Let's get rid of Dragon Rage. We don't need Dragon Rage anymore. We got Dragon Pulse. <laughs> yeah. And that's um, Drago's, Dra 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 Drago's final moveset. So Dragon's, Drago's final moveset would be... Is I should say earthquake, uh, dragon pulse, dragon claw, and crunch. So there we go. Now we have to go all the way back around, which kind of stinks, you know. Yeah, this is where when you're surfing on your water type Pokemon that knows surf. Um, this is where like Pokemon that could be up to level 50 could account for it could um, count as a wild encounter against you, even if you have a pull up. Because for example, I have my my first Pokemon. In my slot, the first Pokemon in my slot for my party is Karen, so it'll uh, repel at level 47 and below, but not level 48 or below, not level 48, 49, or 50. And those Pokemon can get up to level 50 on these waters, so I just gotta be aware of that, I guess. Okay, let's take on this Ace Trainer. I have Karen up front. I'm making an al already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I need your help with this. Yeah, that Gabite is level 49, so it should have evolved at level 40 into a guard chomp, just like mine, but you press the B button apparently. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're over here. We can go up here, I guess. And this is, um, I think the T. This is the right way to go. Okay, never mind. I'll have to. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. And then this just leads us to the way we began, right? I think so. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna actually cover the whole part, the whole like area in here, I guess. So I'm gonna just surf again. And I don't want to talk to you again, sorry. Jeez. <laughs> and you can't use the Versus Seeker in Victory Road because it's considered a cave, so you can't really be much any of these trainers, which kind of stinks. That really kind of stinks. Yeah. But I'm going to end the part right here, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond uh, Redux Walk to Guide, where we do Walk to Guide part. The next part will take on, hopefully, the rest of the Victory Road and get to the Pokemon League. So this has been Giant Glow again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk to Guide.